Hey, this is Mr. Hansen. I wanted to talk to you today about uh, uh, polynomials, and we're going to do some adding and subtracting with polynomials. So um, I've got a, a screen in front of you, and it has some different kinds of polynomials here. The first, the first group is called monomials. Mon meaning one. So monomials, you might, might notice there's one term in there. There's no addition or subtractions there. There's just one term. So a term's made up of a number and, and a variable and an exponent for that variable. So we've got 3x squared. This is 5x to the first, negative 2x cubed. This one you don't see variable, but it is there. It's just x to the 0, which is 1. So it's also a monomial. And then we have x to the fourth there. So these are all examples of monomials. Let's take a look at the next uh, kind. We've got binomials. Uh, here you might notice that we have two terms. So x to the fourth, or x to the first, plus 4x to the zero. Two terms there. x to the second plus 2x to the first, and 3x cubed plus 4x to the zero. So these are called binomials. Notice that uh, um, the biggest uh, exponent always that term always comes first or on the left and it goes from left to right. Okay, let's look at some trinomials. We've got x squared plus 2x plus 1. We've got 5x squared plus 4x minus 9. And we've got 3x cubed plus 7x minus 2. So we've got three terms for each of these. They're called trinomials. Now, polynomials can have more than three terms, but uh, generally we don't call them anything special after, after the trinomial. We just call them a polynomial maybe a four-term or five-term polynomial or something like that. Let's take a look at this uh, polynomial on the bottom here. 4x squared plus 2x plus 3x. Is that a trinomial or a binomial? Take a second and think about that. If you said binomial, you're correct. We can rewrite this as 4x squared plus 5x to the first because these two are like terms. So we want to consider uh, making sure that our like terms are added up before we kind before we categorize what kind of polynomial we're dealing with. Okay, let's take a look at the next uh, slide. Um, important parts of polynomials. So I've got a polynomial up here. The coefficient is the number the x value is being multiplied by. So here we have a coefficient of three. For this term, we have a coefficient of two. For this term, we have a coefficient of four. And for this term, let's just erase this one because if, if, if there's, well, that's probably a bad bad one to erase on. We have a coefficient of 1. Just know that if you have something like this, x plus 2, know that when there's nothing in front of the x, it actually has a coefficient of 1. Okay, so coefficients are the uh, numbers that are in front of the variables. Uh, the degree is the number of the exponents. So we have a degree 3 here. We have a degree 2 here a degree 1 here, and we have a degree 0 here. Remember, anything to the 0 power is 1, so really x is not is non-existent here. It's just a, a way of writing that. Notice how we have we go 3, 2, 1, 0 in descending order. This is how, this is common mathematical notation. This is how it's usually always written. And uh, the, the one with the biggest number is called the leading degree, and it will really, uh, later on when we're graphing this, that leading degree is going to determine the, the shape of the graph. So that's kind of important. Um, and uh, it'll also term, determine the number of answers you have for any equation. So that leading degree is kind of important. Um, I think we've covered everything on this page, so let's take a look at the next page. Adding polynomials. Let's say uh, x is Joe's, uh, is Joe's score. You're playing video games. And maybe you scored four more points than Joe. And, and uh, Sue scored twice as much as Joe minus two. So something like that. So we're comparing both you and, and Sue to Joe. And, and we can kind of write this as, as one thing if you wanted to combine your points together and, and see how much more than Joe that you, you earned. Uh, you could add add them together. All you have to do is combine like terms. So I'm kind of rewriting this um, to get the like terms together. So I'm getting 3x and 4 minus 2 is 2. So 3x plus 2. Now you can just plug in uh, however many points Joe scored here, and you'd know the combined number of points in you and your friend there. One, uh, 
one other kind of fairly simple uh, thing when we're uh, adding um, polynomials is consecutive numbers. So I've got three numbers in my head. I'm thinking of them. They're all right next to each other, and they add up to 27. So what's a nice, easy way to, to set this up algebraically? We could say x plus a number 1 bigger than x plus a number 2 bigger than x equals 27. And then we're just going to combine like terms. So x plus x plus x, that's 3x plus 3 equals 27. And from there, we can just kind of solve. So we subtract the 3. 3x three is 24, and then x would be 8. Okay. So in order to solve that problem, we had to, uh, we had to add some polynomials together. So a monomial plus a binomial plus another binomial. Okay, let's take a look at this big one on the bottom. Um, this is not associated with a word problem. I don't think I would be smart enough to come up with a word problem that that expansive. But uh, let's see what we can do. x to the fifth. Can we add it to x to the fourth, x cubed, x squared, or six? We can't because these are none of them are like terms. So we just keep that x to the fifth. Three x to the fourth plus one x to the fourth is going to be four x to the fourth. Uh, 2x squared, hmm, we can't add that, we don't have, oh, we, we have a minus 3x squared here and a 2x squared, so 2x squared minus 3x squared is negative x squared. Notice I left a little bit of room right here, uh, plus, well, let's put that 3x cubed in right there, plus 3x cubed, and then we don't have an x term, but we have a 7 plus 6, so that's going to be 13. So there you have it. You just kind of combine the like terms. That's the terms with the same, the same uh, degree. And then you've got this right here if you're adding them up. Okay, let's take a look at subtraction. Uh, let's say you have line segment and you know AC has this value 4x squared plus 3x plus 7. So the, the complete distance. And BC has 2x squared minus 6. What's uh, AB going to be? What's AB going to be? So we're going to go 4x squared plus 3x plus 7 minus the BC part. So the whole thing, kind of scribble that out, minus the BC. So minus 2x squared minus 6. And let's, let's see what we get here. So 4x squared minus 2x squared, that's 2x squared. And 3x minus, there's no x value to subtract, so plus 3x. And 7 minus negative 6, so 7 minus negative 6 is 13, positive 13. So AB would have to equal 2x squared plus 3x plus 13. I'm just going to write it right here. 2x squared plus 3x plus 13. And BC is 2x squared minus 6. And if we added AB and BC up, we'd be right back to AC. So let's see if it works. Uh, 4x squared plus 3x plus 7. It does. Okay, here's one other example of subtraction. You might remember uh, profit equals income minus cost. So if, if my income function is 5 times the number of items, so five, $5 for each item sold, and my cost function is $2 for each item made plus 200, it might look something like this, 5x minus the 2x plus 200. And remember that minus, you got to keep it in parentheses, we're subtracting the whole thing. So we could say 5x minus 2x minus 200 like that. We kind of kind of distribute that negative 1 there. And then we get 3x minus 200. And that would give you a profit function. You just put in the number of items there now. And it will take into account uh, the income and the cost all at the same time and give you your amount of profit. Kind of a handy little function there. Okay, let's look at one more. We're adding and subtracting polynomials. Okay, this time we've got a, uh, a triangle and we're missing the side AB, but we're given the perimeter and we're given BC and we're given AC. So AB is going to equal the perimeter minus AC plus BC. Hopefully that makes sense, the whole thing, uh, minus uh, AC and BC. And we should put parentheses, right? 
there like that. And so let's just fill in our, our, uh, our expression. So perimeter, so AB equals 2x squared plus 5x plus 1 minus, um, let's go AC, that's uh, 3x plus 4 plus x squared minus 6, something like that. Okay, so what are we gonna what, what order are we gonna do this in first? I think I would add these two together first. Um, so add them together first, and then subtract them from the perimeter, and we'd get that that last one. So x squared plus three x that's x squared plus three x, and then four minus six that's minus two. So we got a minus there, and we have two x squared plus five x plus one. Okay, so when you subtract here, you, it's kind of like adding the opposite. So we could kind of just make that a plus and change all these signs there. My, let's do it in red so we just remember that's new. So minus, so that becomes a plus, and that's a minus, and that's now a minus, and that's now a plus. Okay, so 2x squared minus x squared, that'll give you x squared. And 5x minus 3x. That'll give you 2x. And 1 plus 2, that'll give you 3, right there. So x squared minus 2x plus 3. Now if we added up this and this and that, I bet we'd get the perimeter. Let's just double check. So we've got x squared there, x squared there. So we've got 2x squared minus 2x plus 3x. That's a positive x. And then 3 plus 4 is 7 minus 6 is 1. And sure enough, we come up with the perimeter there. Okay, so I hope this has been a little bit helpful for you in terms of knowing what a polynomial is. And also in terms of being able to order poly, uh, uh, the terms in a polynomial from greatest degree to least. And I hope you've been able to see how we add polynomials together and how we subtract polynomials. That was the big idea going through this lesson. And uh, we will be discussing multiplication of polynomials next. Um, one final thought, when you add or subtract polynom two polynomials together, you're just gonna get another polynomial. So that means that uh, um, the system of polynomials is closed under the operations of addition and subtraction. You don't get some new kind of number, you just get another polynomial. Thank you and have a good day.